yes, I want to finish off what I just said. It's a part three to it. And um, I, um, it, it is frustrating that we in the black community have allowed outside entities and individuals with an agenda to wreck what we're doing. Um, I guess I heard that brother, that one brother, Keith Newsom, I think his name is, a former military man. My father served in the military, by the way, in the Korean War. And um, he, the way he went about it is very, to me, ignorant and unnecessary, man. Like I said, this dude, he always talks like back to Africa, and if we don't say that we are African, then we're ashamed to be African. No, I know that that is the original homeland, but we are indigenous to this land, too. We've been here in America for at least 250,000 years. So I really don't know. This information's been out for a while, man. Um, I can get quotes from my sources. The BBC did a documentary back in 1999 called The First Americans Were African. And it talks about the people, the migration period of people, how they migrated out from Africa. They talk about how the people migrated out from Africa and went to Australia and from Australia here, which I don't agree with. I believe they left West Africa to come to eastern part of Brazil. So that's what I believe, because that's the closest route. But hey, but... I feel that, you know, he kept put, he he attacking Phil, which I had like I said, Phil gave a deception as if he was married to a black woman. But there's people like Mr. Controversy had talked about, stated that he wasn't married to a black woman. That Phil was running the front, and like I said in the other one, I felt that the lady who was speaking like donate to their program, she was his wife. That he, he he sort of gave out the perception that was his wife because he did before mention that his wife was what you call black, Latina. He did mention that before. Now, I don't, I didn't listen to him all the time. I listened to him off and on. I subscribed to him for one bit and I took him off. I couldn't deal with that Dr. Moonby chick. I think she's extremely ignorant. Extremely ignorant. You know, I think she, she originally was a singer in Kenya, a famous, well, a, a known singer in Kenya, but I, I really don't feel that chick, man. I don't think she's a great singer either. I think she's, the fact her voice is terrible to me. She's very ignorant. Her, attitude towards black people here in America's man it was very disgusting what she said but I digress again um but the brother who attacked um brother um well Phil I guess I can understand his anger but this brother keep talking about that back to Africa stuff man um look here man America's our homeland yes we should do things in Africa but we need to solve the problems here first instead of telling people we need to do Africa we need to solve the re or help the resource in Africa we need to do here first this is our homeland we build civilizations here we have great civilizations here we need to reclaim our land reclaim our history instead of we don't reclaim our land our history and our culture other people will take it and steal it from us now you see a lot of the people in Mexico stealing our history here in America's as well as white folks, the $5 Indians. We need to reclaim our history. So the brothers who call themselves aboriginals, they're not wrong. My problem is a lot of them just totally denounce themselves from Africa. But we are indigenous to this land. Stop talking about going to Africa, going to Africa. When you need to worry about home base first. And I'm really tired of that, man. Worry about home base first. This is G World 7 Space D. Peace and love. Happy Friday and get ready for a good weekend. Peace and love.